Hello and welcome to this short video where I want to show some of the highlights of this tutorial you can enjoy in the developer sandbox. Right, so probably you will get started from the article, but if not, this is the readme file uh, that contains the tutorial and you'll have a link that is going to help you to automatically provision these uh, in the sandbox. So in my case, I right click, but uh, you can go and just uh, click directly. Uh, so when I do that, uh, it's going to open a new tab for me and you see that uh, Dev Spaces starts loading the uh, tutorial and uh, you'll see how the process is cloning uh, the repository with all the contents and all the preparation that is needed. And this just will take a few moments. In no time, as you can see, VS Code opens in Dev Spaces and your workspace is ready. So in my case, it is showing the preview of the same README file, but uh, this is a bit unstable and might not open for you. In that case, uh, if, if that is the case, then just simply click on the README file and uh, well, it might show on uh, text mode, uh, but you can click here in the corner uh, to open the preview mode uh, or just simply directly you can right click on the file and say open preview. And uh, basically here uh, all, all uh, I want you to know is that you have a, an illustrated flow of actions that you have to follow in order to open the uh, tutorial itself with uh, all the documentation you need. So uh, what you need to do is just unfold endpoints and reveal the uh, tutorial link here uh, and then click on it. Uh, so I'm going to do that. Let me close this. Uh, so when I uh, click on the link, uh, you'll have a confirmation window. You have to click open. And when you do so, then the uh, documentation uh, opens and you'll see the solution explorer where, the, uh, where there's this uh, tile that shows AI basics lab. So you click on it. And then basically it, this, well, in my case, uh, because I was playing with it, is not opening in the intro, uh, but this is the introduction uh, page uh, you should, uh, you should uh, see the first time. And it presents to you uh, the goal of the exercise, uh, the, the use case that you are going to complete, and a summary of all the tasks that are involved. So, of course, you will uh, be creating an OpenShift AI workbench, you will execute an inference, uh, you will uh, train and deploy a model, and then you will end up uh, also creating an application. So uh, go ahead and just simply uh, click Get Started, and this will take you to the first task. As you can see here, you have uh, good uh, diagrams and illustrations on how to follow these. Uh, so I'll do just the first steps. Uh, you see that it is asking me to open the uh, OpenShift uh, console. So for that, I just need to click on this uh, action here, copy to clipboard, and then it's telling me to go to my VS Code environment and just uh, paste it here and then click enter and then confirm. So this is going to open my developer view on uh, OpenShift. Uh, in my case, directly the topology. You see that I already have deployed uh, the elements of the tutorial, but uh, you will be starting from scratch. So I have my model server in place. I have uh, my Minio instance with S3 storage with the model, and I have the application as well running. But basically, uh, you will have a blank uh, canvas there. And the first uh, bit is just to go to Red Hat OpenShift AI and um, create a workbench. So with this uh, short video, all I want to show you is uh, a little bit around on the different environments you are going to be playing with. In this case, you will have to create your own uh, uh, project or your own uh, workbench. Uh, mine is already running, so I'm going just to go and click and open uh, JupyterLab. So let me do that. As you can see, it is opening a new tab. Uh, it's restoring the session that I was running earlier, so all my files are open. But for you, you'll have to clone here the repository as per the instructions. And basically here, for instance, I have a notebook uh, for me to train and generate a model that uh, you can customize. Let me just go ahead and see how you are going to be running this. I'm going to say run all cells and this will, you'll see a spinning wheel here that is uh, showing you the progress of that training. And of course, if I scroll down, I'm going to 
to see the outputs uh, that is generating with uh, some samples that it is plotting and uh, some outputs. In this case, you see uh, the training happening uh, live here in action. So you see that there's a few epochs uh, that are happening. Uh, so this is the training itself. And well, you know, eventually these will finish and generate um, uh, the model, uh, you have other notebooks here you are going to be playing with and uh, and well, you know, going back to the Solution Explorer, you will have uh, more tasks, uh, but eventually uh, the, there will be a moment where you will come back here to VS Code and from here uh, you have the ability to open a terminal and then execute the commands you need uh, to execute and deploy uh, the rest of the elements as uh, per the uh, guiding uh, instructions. And uh, well, at some point uh, you will create uh, your application uh, with Camel. And from here you can uh, see that the source code is here. Uh, you have a price catalog that is uh, showing you the uh, uh, the price tags that uh, you will be using and uh, you can right click here and uh, this incorporates a graphical uh, editor for you to display what the process is going to be. Uh, it's already uh, pre-built so you don't need to spend much time but uh, you can view by yourself uh, what it is all about and play with it if you want and then just simply deploy and run. Everything ends up uh, deployed in OpenShift and uh, you will be able to execute everything uh, in this uh, very nice sandbox. And well, that's uh, all I wanted to, to say. Uh, I hope you have a lot of fun and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for listening. Bye.